This is NC State Dendrology at the coast here in the Maritime Forest at Fort Macon State Park. So down in Carteret County. Um, and I'm on the Elliott Coos Trail, which was named for one of the doctors at Fort Macon who served at Fort Macon. He was actually really more of a naturalist, but um, so in his spare time, he went and documented a lot of the natural world around Fort Macon. So here in the Maritime Forest, the keystone species is this beautiful um, live oak, coastal live oak, Quercus virginiana. And this is an evergreen oak. Um, and you can see the leaves are um, very similar to Quercus laurifolia and also Quercus hemispherica. But we're here, this is a keystone species in the Maritime Forest. So um, it is, this is where you would find this species. You might find it co-occurring with laurel oak, but that's really more of a swamp species. Um, and I haven't seen a lot of Quercus margareta here. I think that's more in the sand hills. So this species is evergreen, right? So it's green, that's why it's called live oak. And very, it was, had a very important role in shipbuilding, but now it's kind of confined to these little remnants. To identify it, it's got these dark, gnarled, ridged bark, right? And then really the form is indicative. So I'm kind of panning around to show you what the live oak forest looks like. And if you think it looks a little bit beat up, you would be right. Um, live oak forests and maritime forests are susceptible to coastal storms, hurricanes and winter storms that come around. And so the form of this tree is really distinctive. It tends to have sprawling, big live um, branches that are heavy with, with leaves. And that sprawling, the canopy actually forms a kind of rounded flat shape. So these trees don't go ver grow very tall. Instead, the canopy is almost, um, has this protective layer from salt spray. So the leaves are thick and le leathery and evergreen and they are tolerant to salt spray to a degree. But if you have a little piece of it sticking above the canopy, it will quickly get pruned back by salt spray. So that was some work that was done at NC State in the 1950s. That's pretty interesting. To identify this tree, it does have these leathery green leaves. Um, they are rounded, so they do not have bristle tips. This is actually a white oak species. And um, you can see the apices are rounded, right? Not pointed like some of the other oaks that we've learned. Um, and they are, the leaves are thick and leathery. So even more so than Quercus margareta or, um, I'm sorry, Quercus hemispherica or Quercus laurifolia. They're quite broad. The margin of the leaf is revolute. So if you remember what that means, that means the edge of the leaf is actually curled under just a bit. Um, so it's, it's revolute so, and you can feel that with your finger. Also the back sides, you know, these leaves are very dark green and shiny, but the undersides are a little bit lighter and they have these really fine hairs on them. So that's a key difference between this and Quercus laurifolia. Um, and if I, the hairs are so small that the only way I can really detect them is to touch the leaf to tip of my tongue. And it feels a little bit rough and sandpapery, right? Where it's completely smooth in laurifolia. So that's a really key character for live oak, but it's also, you know, a really ever, a truly evergreen species. So this is evergreen year round. And it has acorns that are very distinctive also. I'm not seeing any on the ground. Um, so maybe it's not a mast year down here in Carteret County, but the, the acorns are small, but they're bullet shaped. So they're oval shaped and the acorn cap covers about a third to a half of it. And it's got that cobbledness of white oaks. Um, it's not, doesn't have overlapping scales. So these acorns are very distinctive and quite different from the laurel oak and sand laurel oak that we've already learned. So this is Quercus virginiana, live oak or coastal live oak in the Fag ACE. And I'm in this mar maritime forest remnant, right? This is a key species that maritime forest occurs on the backsides of dunes. So that's, um, that's where I am. I've got the, the ocean is, is that way and I can see the marsh um, right behind where I am. But, this part of the dune has been protected for a number of years and so soil has built up um, and that has caused trees to be able to take root and grow here and then develop into this low statured kind of gnarly um, live oak forest. So this is NC State Dendrology coming to you from Fort Macon State Park in Carteret County.